to do that is have a seat okay. and uh, find a comfortable position. You can sit like that or on your knees or whatever. And then just start to breathe. And what I mean by that is really send the breath into the lower lobes of the lungs. Let the belly expand. And maybe even close the eyes. Okay. And when you slow your breath down and become very mindful, it automatically begins to create uh, uh, autonomic nervous system response, so your parasympathetic dominance comes into play. And you become more aware and m more relaxed. So we're going to take our right hand and close our right nostril and just inhale very deeply through the left nostril. Pause. And then close the left nostril and exhale right. Make sure you complete your exhale and pause. Switch again, inhale left. And exhale right. Now, Nick, as you continue to do that practice, inhaling left and exhaling right, you're going to notice that your body becomes more and more relaxed. And it doesn't take very long, maybe two or three minutes of alternate nostril breath, and you're calmer, you're more focused, you're more centered, and you're able to really mm -hmm. um, yeah. rejuvenate yourself. Right, I already start feeling it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty profound. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Literally, your brain and your body changes this chemistry, and you become uh, ready for more study or whatever you're trying to do. So the next thing I would do, because we sit for prolonged periods of time, especially when we're getting ready for exams, mm -hmm. is a little bit of asana. Okay. So if we bring our feet together and inhale, Really inhale, expand, and take a baby back bend. It's the opposite of sitting, right? And then exhale, take a forward fold, soften your knees, and just hang. Hang from your hips, let your head hang. And as you breathe, you can feel your body undulating, and hopefully the spine and the hips and the back of the legs unwinding. Mm -hmm. So continue to breathe. And you just feel the body dissolving the stress and tension. And then just place your hands on the floor and step back into downward facing dog. And you just root your heels toward the floor. If you need to, bend your knees, press your hands forward, and hollow out your belly. And again, you want to continue to breathe deeply relaxing, exposing. Mm -hmm. And then lower your knees to the floor. It's a fantastic pose. It's called child's pose. And if you can place your forehead on the floor, fine. If not, just stack your hands and rest your forehead on the floor, right at the third eye rather than to the top of the head. And again, here you have an opportunity to breathe and feel the expansion through the back of the body, a place where you hold a lot of stress and tension. Let the hips fall. And then you can come back up to sitting. Yeah, yeah I feel do. pretty centered. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah, that, I definitely feel a lot less stressed right now. Um, so thank you so much. So you said the Kent Yoga Center is located on the Cuyahoga River in downtown Kent. So you can visit their website with a full schedule of their classes at kentyogacenter.com. So like I said, yoga is a great way to relieve stress and doing it outside can be even more therapeutic. So get up, get out, and get healthy. For TV2 News this morning, I'm Nikhil Nadler. Tyler and Nicole. Thanks, Nikhil. I'm probably going to have to practice some of those. Can exercising make you look younger? And which foods did you eat when you're feeling under the weather? Those answer on this morning's Health Watch.